Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 23 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Presenting the number four ranked middleweight contender in the world, Derek Bronson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 14 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, presenting the number three ranked middleweight contender in the world, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Last assignment of the night for Kerry Hatley, the beautiful Luciana Andrade with us here at UFC 271. Ariane, Brittany, Vanessa also with us. Brunson's oh, winning gentlemen, streak this is, what you work for right is here. five. Let's go to war. All those wins as betting underdog. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Timex, official timekeeper of UFC. Timex watches have taken a licking and keep on ticking since 1854. It is very important for Brunson to get a takedown early. If he can get a takedown and set the idea that he can take Cannoneer down, he will be on the path to victory. But if he struggles to get a takedown, it may be a peek into what this fight is going to look like. Well, the threat of the takedown is going to open up some strikes for Derek Brunson now. Cannoneer is doing the right thing, pressuring him, putting him on the back foot. Mm -hmm. Because Cannoneer is so physical, so strong, you know, powerful, hits hard. And as we said on the walk, very confident. And he's not afraid to engage. Look at that. You want to try to get your opponent wrestling backing up. You don't want him backing you up and setting up those takedowns. First couple times Jared has touched Brunson. Look at that. I mean, he's Brunson's so reactions have not looked great. Clearly looking for the takedown. I mean. I mean that's and that's his path to victory every yep. time he fights. That's Always nice. heavily depends on his wrestling. He this, knows his skill set, he knows his advantages. Sorry, Daniel. This is good by Brunson. Just really changing the finish. I mean, look at that flexibility. Okay, he gets him down. Nice. That was so important for Derek Brunson. Now he needs to control him. Absolutely huge. Cannonier now defending right in front of his corner men. And he gets back to That's his feet. That's only the chin. And that's a good early sign for Jared Cannonier. Another shot from Brunson. Yeah, he got up pretty easy there. Oh. Feel the fight in the palm of your hands with the all-new EA Sports UFC Mobile 2. Download now for the Apple App Store and Google Play. Nice footwork. The way Cannonier pivoted there. Very, very nice. You know, because you said this about Roxanne, because of the way Brunson moves, it's a bit unorthodox, right? Mm. So when you throw the return, he's gone. Yeah, and then well, he just kind of grabs your leg. He does a good job of like rolling with the yeah. punches, he's, but then he turns that into a takedown attempt. It's very nice. You see there, he, he dips forward though. He's got to be careful. Could walk onto a knee, an uppercut, a kick in the face. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because he's dipping down low. Brunson bullies his way in. I mean, that's his MO every time. Well, on this win streak, right, he's gotten so good at what he does that people haven't been able to stop him. To this point, Cannonier's done a really good job of defending these takedowns. Unofficially, six shots from Brunson. And Cannonier stuffed five of them. Nice left hand there for Derek. But Brunson sticks with it as well. You know, he isn't going to fade. And he isn't going to get oh. tired. Nice left hand there by Brunson. Nice left hook on the break there as well for Brunson. 
Big miss from Cannoneer. And it's just constant. Brunson constant. constantly on your legs. Every time. Every time you try to throw, every time you try to miss, he gives you that takedown look. Almost got him there. They got him. There there is. Yep. Beautiful overstep there by Brunson. And now he's in half guard. Oh, he's on the step. Pass to Mount. Wow. wow, Derek Brunson. And this is just what he did to Darren Till. Got the mount, pounded away. Darren turned to avoid the punches and he locked it the rear naked choke. It's this classic Derek Brunson, man. He gets you to fight his fight. And look at him trying to attack arm triangle. Nice job. Let's finish up. Circle. And he's in the best shape of his life. His words, not mine. 38 years old. Strength and conditioning on a new level. And you see, early in the first round, Cannonier defended the takedown. Then as the round progressed, started getting taken down more and more. That's going to continue in rounds two, three, four. Yep. You know what I mean? And the takedowns are going to become easier and more frequent for Brunson. Unless Cannonier can land some significant shots, do some damage, put some doubt into the mind. Right now, Brunson's surging on confidence. It's because the moment Jared misses, Derek's on his legs. Sports drink of the UFC. Grab one today at Casey's. That's, a, that's the best he's got. That's the best he's got. He's already fine desperate in the first round. Open the water. Open the water. Open the water. Yeah. They're trying to overthrow everything. They're shooting under everything. And then all those desperation long punches, you've got to move your feet. We're standing still in there. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. So I need you to treat it with respect. He throws me move. Then he's come back in, all right? Right here, you see Derek Brunson throw a beautiful right hook that drops Cannoneer. Takes the back immediately. Look at that. Misses with the uppercut. Sets and throws. Bang! Right hook drops Jared. Brunson pounces. Takes the back. Immediately into his choke. Short time. Means a lucky Jared Cannoneer. Next Saturday, we're right back at it. UFC Fight Night from the Apex. The main event is a matchup of light heavyweight contenders. Johnny Walker right, go round and Jamal round Sweet Dreams Hill. The action is all yours on ESPN Plus. Main card at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, round two here. Immediate shot here from Derek Brunson. Yeah. Dean Thomas, John Crouch did a nice job trying to center his guy. Your thoughts? Right away, Derek Brunson got to the high cross, got the finish, and he's got Kennedy on his back right away. Dean. Oh, yeah, well, uh, one thing for, for Derek Brunson is he can't allow himself to get discouraged if he starts missing takedowns. And that's the one thing that a lot of takedown guys do is they get discouraged when a guy gets back up. You got to treat that as if, oh, well, if you just missed a punch, not a big deal. And we see Derek Brunson now showing that he's not getting too discouraged on missed ups or when Jared Cannonier gets back to his feet. Here we go. Cannonier getting a bit of respect now. In the corner of Cannonier, though, his corner team said, oh, that's the best he's got. That's the best he's got. I'm like, well, that's pretty good. He dropped you, and he almost choked you out and was saved by the back. Yeah, but if that's the best he's got, but then we need to be concerned. But, but Mike, look at Derek. Look at Derek now. He's kind of falling. Oh, that hurt those takedowns. It's not good. He's got to correct that body language. Because the way he's leaning... Oh, we just saw in the, in the monitor here, Cannonier landed a big shot, big right hook. There it is again. Brunson yeah. is moving very slowly. Yeah, right he's now. moving weird right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's hurt. He's got to correct that body language. He's dazed. And this is like kind of the openings that he would leave in the past. Yeah, yeah. just that, like that. That's when Adesanya knocked him out, leading with the chin, getting overexcited. A couple nice lefts from Brunson, but yeah, yes. still doesn't look all the way back. Yeah, in the eyes, you can see it. The eyes don't lie. Oh. A good right hand. And this is a good round for Cannonier. And the takedown attempts have stopped as well. 
Under three minutes here to go in the round. Fortune favors the Brave is brought to you by Crypto.com, the fastest growing crypto platform in the world. Download now. Brunson enters three at 12 on his takedown attempts thus far. And you know from watching the Gaslam fight, Cannoneer doesn't get tired. The guy doesn't fatigue. He'll fight this, oh, nice little right hook yeah. there. He said he hates wrestling, but he's grown to love it in a right, weird right, kind of way. Went yeah. out and bought himself some wrestling shoes. He said, wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. That's all this training camp has been. Nice connection by Cannoneer, who can also lean on the heart of a lion if need be. You can see the frustration in Derek's face. Derek can't get discouraged and start hanging his chin up in the air. That is what used to get him in all kinds of trouble. Well, the thing that makes Derek so great is the threat of the takedown. Yes. You know, he's a complete mixed martial artist, and obviously the wrestling is a big part of his game. If he abandons that and it's forced into a kickboxing match with Jared Cannonier, he's going to be nowhere near as effective. Cannonier doing a really good job of switching stances. Landed a beautiful jab from the southpaw position. Right back to conventional now. There's a good right. Shots coming at Brunson from both sides. Second round has not been good to Derek Brunson. It seems a bit confused. Mm. Even just the way he's breathing doesn't look normal. One minute to go. Nice elbow there from Cannoneer. And, and, and Jared is defending his own. Feels like the beginning of the end. He heard him with an elbow and close. This is it. Oh! oh the elbow! Wow! Oh, the turn! They keep There's your statement made! Wow! Corner threw in the towel just before the final concussive blow. The killer gorilla with the family in the building. Mission accomplished. Wow. So let's take a look. It all started with this elbow as Brunson was trying to clinch. A nice elbow there, and then he follows it up with another one. And you can see Lil Backfist there. Look at the look on his face. He's out on his feet there. He's dazed. He's confused. Cannoneer, bang, landed that elbow. Beautiful work. Goes at it again. That one just kind of glanced a little bit. But the first one did a lot of damage, and that was the beginning of the end. Nice little back fist, forced him down to the feet, and then some huge elbows. Right before the towel came in, Brunson was out cold. Let's take a look. Good shot there. Big, nasty, vicious elbow. And another one. That one put him to sleep. There it is. The head's bouncing off the canvas. The towel comes in. Jared Cannon here holds Derek Brunson on a five-fight win streak. Incredible work. And I think... If Israel Adesanya is victorious tonight, that is the next challenger. And there's the reaction in the corner. John Crouch, of course, behind Rob Emerson and Randy Stanky, I believe. What a win for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. And you're right, if Israel Adesanya is able to emerge tonight, and that is no guarantee, but he has called for fresh meat, talking about Jared Cannonier, potentially Sean Strickland. That's how you earn a title shot. You put away a guy like oh, yeah. that. All right, to make it official, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kerry Hatley has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Jared!